So hi guys, it is time to add new storage to my PC. So I went ahead and bought this Seagate Barracuda 2TB 3.5 inches internal hard disk which runs at around 5400 RPM. So I think the read and write speed is going to be awesome. You can see that I have two SSDs already installed on my PC. One is for Windows operating system and the other is for Ubuntu. So the new 2TB internal mechanical hard disk that I am going to add to my PC is going to be common to both Windows and Ubuntu operating system. So whenever I want to transfer some files from my SSD, uh, I could do that to this hard disk. I'm going to connect the power card to the hard disk and then the SATA port and then check the hard disk externally whether the hard disk is working or not. And if it is working, then I would like to screw this onto the PC's case. So let's go ahead and connect the SATA port to the hard disk. Then the power cord to the hard disk. So let me place this firmly on the table. So let me power up my PC now. I'm, I'm going to boot into Ubuntu first. So let's go ahead and check whether this hard disk is visible on my Ubuntu operating system. Unfortunately, this hard disk is not visible on my Ubuntu operating system. So at first, my Windows PC and my Ubuntu did not recognize the new hard disk. So I had to do this. Right click on my computer, click on Manage, click on Storage, Disk Management. And um, there is this prompt, Initialize Disk. Um, so I'm going to cancel this. So I could see that my new hard disk 2TB is actually listed here. So let me go ahead and click this. Right click and now I understand that I need to initialize this disk. You must initialize a disk before Logical Disk Manager can access it. So select disk, disk 1. Use the following partition style for the selected disk. I'm going to use this GPI, GPT GUI partition table. I don't know what this is but I just I'm going to go ahead with this. Click OK nothing happens but it's, it says here unallocated maybe i need to format this new symbol volume new symbol volume welcome to the new symbol volume wizard next next assign the following drive letter d next ndfs that's cool i think volume level it's going to be internal common desk okay let me click next next now this formats my new hard disk now i could see my new internal hard disk uh, listed on my this PC. Um, so let me go ahead and open this common desk and let me paste a, a file into the here. So let us put into the Ubuntu operating system and see whether we could access this file from Ubuntu. So now we are in the Ubuntu operating system. Let me go ahead and open my home folder and go into other locations. You can see that this internal hard disk is listed here and the file we copied from windows could be accessed from here so this is very cool so now we know that this hard disk is working and i have switched my pc off now let me unplug all these cables let me pull this rack out of the case and fix this to this internal hard disk drive mount this onto the PC case let us complete the connections first let me connect the SATA port and uh, then of course the power card now I think everything is complete let me close this up 